he side to do what you want. Like you're getting lane for free essentially every time. In fact, if you just throw a case smoke, they're not going to contest it. You, you're going to get that space and you can do what you want. And I expect they'll realize that very quickly uh, when the sides swap. Obviously, they'll be starting on the CT side. Uh, and so, you know, the real question is how many T rounds can this team get against Atox? Because it's going to be tough, uh, especially when they've lost the opening duel. Yeah, it's uh, hot in the UK, so if you just heard the ice cream van, I hope that brings back nostalgic memories. And if you didn't, then it's fine. It just feels like I'm hearing voices or noises, but it was quite loud <laughs> out my window. Uh, Cat Evil, they have got good space, to be fair to them. They've done this smoke to sort of signify intent that they're going to wrap here on towards A. Cabal ahead of it, and finds Taxo, mate. And Annihilation steps in with another... And suddenly all the pieces are falling apart here for Cat Evil. Cabal is still on this site. It was all up to Theo. And once he taps away one in towards CT and trades out Cabal, this 1v3 feels pretty inevitable here for Atox. And it is. Yeah, nice. Just slow him at the end. Good setup on the A site. A little bait and switch between the two of them. Easily done. come through at the perfect time didn't see how that first kill panned out but the end result is the same resounding victory we're gonna have big m4 utilization annihilation actually buys util when he could have bought head up no it's been dropped to him never mind let me see the glockies i'm gonna try and make a play on a Yeah, for Cat Evil as well, they were eventually able to find a lot of space in middle because Joe King was doing the same thing constantly. We won't see that opening either. Ooh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Swing and a miss out of Cabal. Sees the Ecos. Really wants it. Doesn't get it, but everyone else chimes in for Atox. This A attack is stifled immediately and they only lose one MP9. They keep all their rifles, which is the most important thing. Alright, that ended up being absolutely fine. I could see, you know, it, the, when you lose the first player, Annihilation doesn't have head armor and he's standing in the middle of the mouth of Donut. But the support was there. That's the difference. We swarm them. Don't allow any entry. Now we get the guns out for Cat Evil. And immediately, they're met with a smoke indoors. Going to fight through it. And over the utility. Spotted on the ledge scaling, though. Ronan Baby tucks into the mouth of the cave. Pops the HE, and he spammed out the server. But look at this reaction. I, I really like this. J just sort of a Cat Evil. You recognize that mid shelf's been taken. They've also heard the flanking player, Yami. We'll go for another one. And he does find Splash Cat. It's sort of contained here, but look at the bomb. BZA trying to make a move. The players on site are trying to provide enough of a distraction, and Yami has moved away. So the bomb potentially can make it over. It's being safeguarded. They're going to reset. They're going to go middle. This could be either one of the smartest plays, because Atox is so tunnel visioned in on Donut and A, or it's going to end around it in the next few seconds. Yeah, if they walk ledge, they're cool. If they go donut, it's Jova. This oh, isn't... why would they go donut? Uh, well, because PX still on A, so they, they feel like they've got this kind of pincer available to them, but they're never going to anticipate this many bodies. A double up in donut makes quick work of these mid players, and now you know where this last player is. He's on 6 HP. Dealt with. Easy does it. First gun round, the weight of Atox. Yeah, no, no. Even even if you've got Beak out on A, if you have left A main in that situation and you're uncertain because Yami's already pushed middle and then he's reset, you feel like you've got a gap in mid. Sure, that doesn't mean you go donut because you understand that there is a lot of Atox players that have rotated over. You go shelf, you try and fight cave, and then he can be that lurk element that keeps all the pieces interested in that A bomb site. But like there's um, yeah, macro misunderstandings going on at work there for Cat Evil. And Yami, when he exploded onto the scene, he was extremely aggressive. And against Rare Atom, he was a lot more sort of on the leash 
He wasn't as proactive. He wasn't as in your face. In that round, we've already seen him just walk through a mid smoke. Here, Annihilation finds one. Kabul overwhelmed again on the Tech Nines. Something I want to talk about actually with Kabul. But I'll come back to it in a moment because, again, oh, they're just being cleaned up. Knocked up. Sorry, you can come back to your point. Okay, so with with Kabul, I think this is something that I've actually been looking at. Whenever I sort of watch Atox and I, I watch Kabul and we watched him at the at the RMR, I started to notice it. But I was also I also asked um, Yumi this question, and he sort of backed up what I'm saying. So I actually think this is a, a really small thing to nitpick, but it is a weakness in his game. Kabul really struggles against half buys. And, like, really struggles in those important moments. But in half buys in particular, he always dies. And he doesn't normally get a kill. And it's a weird thing, but it actually just is consistent here again. Tech 9 round, second, doesn't find anyone. Follow up in, in that, dies instantly. Well, opening kill for Ronan, maybe. Oh. It's a player spotted. Up on top. Well, it's going to be close by looking for these players in Donut. But we're in a baby on their HP. He's just holding if anyone peeks around that corner. At the moment, no one will. Stand for DZ8. No one actually getting hit by any of those bullets. I think they are just going to gear up for a B finish. And with the amount of advantage, it makes sense. Yeah, no, they just can rotate over. You've now got Kabul. Sorry, you've got Yami that can push in Miss from mate. Donut. Oh, yeah, that's not helpful, is it? A complete miss smoke. Uh, and now Mick can just get on the angle. Important cave fight here to be won. Mick falls. Where's the cave player? Overwhelmed. Annihilation at least strikes in for one. So Yami didn't actually elect a flank. He's coming towards short. Molly's keep going on this bomb site. It's so difficult to plant. And there's 20 seconds left. This bomb could be denied. Now the smokes are expired. Flames. Oh, that's a wild swing from Annihilation. I mean, it's going to get one. But the HE on his position, he has to reroute. Can't deny that bomb. Three bullets left. Needs to reload. Might just fall to a safe spot to do that. Worried about someone up close. Is he really not going to reload this gun? Crazy, he had so many opportunities. No, he's gonna grab the AWP and run away. I it's amazing that Caddy ever win that round. Yeah, and that Tanjami so. gets a second kill. It all be, it's all because this player in cave is so disconnected from the site players, he needed to win out his fight. If he wins out his fight, it's fine because it opens a new angle for opportunity on the retake for Aatox. But otherwise, he's completely redundant. So he's so just focused on getting this fight, and then he gets cleared and dealt with. It's Kabul and Cave. Needed it. Desperately needed it. And didn't have it. So Cat Evil will get that first round from, again, an unlikely source. Because it really did feel like they weren't going to. And that misspoke went on long as well. It just looked like everything was going to come together for Atox. Relation to Ega. Yeah, he's playing very close and actually nets himself a frag. Obu will get one back, but it costs him a dink. So he's got a bail. Still a four and four, so at least something back for the CTs. Now Ronan, baby. Start to patrol and don't be low HP. Yeah, he's looking the other way. Maybe a flash was being set up. I'm not sure. Oh, this is bold. Annihilation. Dude, yeah. It's again two rounds in a row where he's just like gone on explore. But that's a that's a ridiculous explore. Yummy. Still immortal, but edge of the smoke surely overwhelmed. No. I don't know how he's alive. Finally, we'll be taken down and be in the back lines. We'll claim Cabal. Clean rounds out of Cat Evil, but those are two oversteps, two mistakes made by Atox that just allow them into the B-bomb site for free. 
Yeah, yeah, that's just playing a bit too undisciplined, really. Pressing, impressively, they're able to get out of bite. It comes without utility, and it comes with a Mag 7. An MP9. So, one of the buys of all time. Most definitely. It's the AWP Mag 7 combo in A main, where Annihilation has fired off a shot and backed off, and now Kabul just works his way forward. Do you go if you're Kabul? around this corner probably not but at least you got confirmed info and again spam for cat evil they've had success twice over at b this setup though perfect from mick he doubles down and in fact swings again but splash cut oh splash cut finds free that's insane and the round goes back in cat evil's favor talk about splash damage that's crazy Mick does everything with that double. Everything is set up perfectly for Atox. I mean, you can't even really blame the repeaks from the CTs, especially the third one. That feels like a guaranteed kill. Yeah, to a certain extent, you can't. At the same time, they know they're saving up the ramp, so can you, not, can you not flash it? That's an AK. Oh, he's interested. He knows one player's really low. Molly in towards cave. Maybe it's just a contain mission instead no kit so yeah yeah Kabul will back out annihilation keeps the orb consistent mistakes from atox however that one is the most unfortunate of the three Bashka, can he find even more can he deal the damage miss shot out of annihilation yeah no orb costly you keep an AK, but yeah, losing the AWP means you're definitely not investing here. If they brought the AWP over, I think they would have bought. I had full rifles. So Cat Evil will find themselves in a great position to equalize. Muscovol can do something cool with the AK. Go for the double setup in A main once more and can't do anything cool. Not really making his life hard. He just wants the AK. He gave up on it. Today is one HP. Still alive and kicking. The cat evil. They've now got all this mid space, so they're gonna swing it into an A play with the split through donut. Yami. Reset. Oh, and spotted a player. Back off. Never mind. Wants to reface. 1 HP, BZA is still alive in all of this. Surely not for long. What? Why are they all alive? What the hell? Gotta imagine if you'd recovered that AK now. True. Everyone lives somehow. 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, that Molly has actually won Cat Evil the round. Yami couldn't grab it. Nice recovery here. Maybe it's just the aura of a 100% win on HLTV. <laughs> just powering Cat Evil through. Oh. And then you start to question, how are they 100% win rate with smokes like that? That's a second miss smoke. They almost six smokes all the time earlier as well. Yeah. This has been the same default as well, round on round. Take shelf. Uh, again, Atox just not really contesting. Not really fighting for the space. They are playing uh, a little bit more disciplined on mid because they've got three players that start B. Yami spam. Not finding the mark. And the nade only tickles the toes. The Tanjiao Mei. It's going to be a B finish once more. Annihilation with the AWP here hits the shot. No follow up. Going dry against Annihilation, and that's a mistake. 
You take the pause, not committing yet. I've got cave control and now a flank from Bjork. Gonna walk through the red smoke, but it's already being held by Dobu. Not to mention, Kabal with the second orb now moves about. She just leaves two players without util. Trying to find their way onto B. You can just fight your way forward. That's the way they have to go about it. BZA finds a double. The Lurk finds success as well. It's got to be BZA with the final two as well. Bomb to be planted. Annihilation gets on the line. Spotted on the swing. But Cabal picks up an AK. Takes one to the dome. And Atox get their fifth. That's ridiculously expensive though if you're Atox. You've got two openings from Annihilation. And suddenly that turns into a two-on-one. It is ridiculous how much Cat Evil are getting away with because Atox are just putting themselves in positions to be traded and to be claimed without a trade for themselves. And it's these individual mistakes that you can kind of see why Rare Atom was punishing them. These EA's even got the, the Krieg. Oh no, he did have the Krieg. No Kriegs here. Sadly. It's always fun when the Krieg comes out. Ooh. Running baby. Cops a lot just trying to get space on lane. You might even get spammed out in Cubby. That's been a common position for Mick to spam. Actually, no, he's got the, the, the MP9 in Jaguar. So, unlikely. Shadow spotted. Bows orb. Catches the wide swinging Bjork. True play is now low from... Spam on, in fact, that was maybe a leg shot actually on BCA. It's not feeling good for Cat Evil. No, they're trying to flash cave in now. So BCA is going to walk forward and try and take this space. And that smoke is so well timed because you think that Mick isn't here, but he is. Annihilation claims another. This feels a, a lot more settled now for Atox. We should be able to get this one over the line. Unless Tan Zhao Mei can find this kill on Kabul. This is a save. Yeah, true. Actually, you're right. We're only maybe 5 HP. Yeah, and with a full buy next round with the three remaining players, makes sense. Don't risk it for the biscuit. I don't know what the origins of that phrase is. Is, is it, I guess it's just because it rhymes. It wasn't like a literal case of someone like risking something serious for a biscuit. I don't know. I'm not familiar with like biscuit sort of digestive's law. Biscuit. However, are you googling it? Origin. The original phrase was from a 70s advert for a muesli bar and started out as I'll risk it for a swisket. Okay. No way. Whoa. That's just crazy, because I just found it feels like a, one of those colloquialisms that just exists, you know, like, that it would just say. This is, this happens a lot. Like, there's a lot it's of... it's come from, like, like, a product. Yeah, this happens quite a lot in... Especially UK slang. In terms, like, a lot of stuff comes from, like, media outlets. It doesn't... Yeah. It doesn't surprise me now you said it, but I didn't know originally. Fast play out A... Kabul ought to be tested. Well, he rose last time, but that was a single lurk player. This time, there's a whole squad, four of them. The kitty cat crew. He's got Yami to support him, who looks for the booster player. Oh, actually, the booster player swings. He almost gets one. Flashbang is perfect. Val misses his incendiary as well. Dobu falls and Nick falls as well. So Cabal might find one with the HE, but mostly been ineffectual with the orb in this position. And with the smoke landing in his face, yeah, he's not achieving anything. Yeah, they've got to save. They've got two orbs on this retake. It's not happening. It's just the, the rifle is just full immediately. Yami, it's not really his fault because he's only going off the information given to him by Cabal. So he just gets... Well, not even traded, but dealt with by Tan Xiao Mei. And from there, you've got BZA, who's on this lurker, who deals with Dobu. I think he was pushing to sort of hold uh, and see if he can kind of get a quick flank on. 
perfectly worked round for Cat Evil. They've tried B so many times. It's been the executes that have been really good for them. But I still, I still think they need this sixth round here. Because their CT side was not convincing. Yeah, exactly. They got seven on the T side versus Tai Lu. And that was almost not enough. Seven from Atox. Put them in good setting. Val wow, gonna try again. This position's tough though, and he's all alone. He has nowhere to fall back to if this yeah. falls, if this doesn't work. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Literally nothing. Throwing an incendiary wildly in the sky. Okay, a flashbang to support. Something being bailed out. He's on fire. Yeah, nowhere to go. Crazy pause to play when you're the only one near A. But somehow at least gets one. <laughs> I was gonna say, he gets more impact than he did in the previous because actually scared them off A main. Where do you go now if you're cat evil? You've got no space. So you need to reset in towards mid. You need to get past Mick. Now, Mick's on this off angle, because normally when you come out and clear this, it's the other side of the box that you sit on. So I really like this from Mick. However, good jiggle. They get a double swing. Yeah, they are, but they go straight into his crosshair. They line up, and suddenly, Tan Xiao Mei is left in a 1v3. Yeah, tough for him to pull this one off. Mick bails them out. And even finds that fourth kill. So seven for Atox, a fantastic CT side.
seven five half for Atox, and you feel like that could be enough because for for Cat Evil, it was a really nice resurgence, sort of in the middle portion of that first half. I really like the way that their executes were looking, bar the missed smokes that they kind of came out uh, a couple of times, and we saw some really nice impact moments, especially from Smashka, that three K sort of open up the bomb site, that really just chaotic ground in which they were able to win where they were able to isolate the cave player effectively in Kabul but as soon as double orps came out for, for Aatox it just felt like they couldn't really be stopped. Yeah uh, I would say Aatox looked like the better team but Caddy were able to pull away some rounds from positions that didn't look like they were able to and they also recovered some rounds that they almost lost right remember against the the Deagle uh, Deagles they almost uh, could have fumbled that one so yeah uh, overall um pretty decent on the t side and i think normally you'd say five feels okay but given what we saw earlier i'm not sure it will be enough going up against atox who i think are going to be really punishing on this uh t side but i guess that remains to be seen yeah i wonder if they changed the game plan or if that was like game plan specific for for tai Lu. however i i don't i don't think it was based on sort of what we saw over all the other maps um so yeah, the, the, the issue with this, if you're just tuning in, is Cat Evil CT side was really passive earlier today. And the way Atox like to play is they like to just be very methodical. They take the map control, then they just execute over the top of the site. And if you're not disrupting that, and also if you're just not getting information in general, it's just going to be really difficult to sort of be able to react and respond appropriately. And this is where the danger starts to creep in for Cat Evil. And I think it even begins with the pistol. I feel like they need the pistol desperately to even potentially have a chance in the second half yeah first uh pistol didn't really go well for them either they got uh, absolutely destroyed uh trying to make their way into a so we'll see what their ct side has to to deliver uh the other game's also very close actually tyler you currently have the lead over rare atom that's uh seven four right now Let's see if that's another seven five off it is actually rare oh. atom to get the fifth so same half and actually same kind of situation where you're saying the favorite team was for Atom. Uh, they're on they're on five, uh, but Ty Lu, surprisingly, I guess, on seven. I don't know. Charking just had a massive round. It was a... Vertigo as well. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, it was a four... Yeah, four on two and Child King just kills all four uh, and just ends it. Uh, so that's that's mega from child king and he had a great sort of first series as well uh, against atox and yeah or well, we should be getting the game underway momentarily guys uh, we can jump into the action shortly and sort of check out what this sort of second half has to offer because i don't i mean i don't really have too much more to say without seeing it uh yami looked pretty good i guess that's a that's a common that's a thing to say yeah. i expected him to be good uh, he started off like 10 and 0 was just sort of running through smokes and being a nuisance and being a bit of a pain but then when he kind of calmed down a little bit actually his impact wasn't felt as much yeah mikos has some good rounds could see him stepping up on the b side you kind of have players everywhere um i felt like annihilation was uh was a little little too eager for some of those fights so right he, he yeah. cost them some rounds where he could have uh, definitely helped to go the other way but his overextensions were punished each time so it could have been an even more dominant half than it was if annihilation had not gone for those plays uh anyway let's go into the game enough of that's yapping let's get to the clapping five seven atox with the lead yeah, let's see. What, what's the go here for Cat Evil? I see dual Barettas on the floor. I see a flash in the smoke. So no kit. Worth noting. Straight out mid for Atox. No util straight out mid as well. It's so bold. Oh, and Tan Mei gets dinked, but gets all the info. There are a lot of players scaling Donut. And Biak can't get involved in the fight. This might just be a retake effort. Or no, they're going to try and overwhelm immediately. Kills are coming in. Tan Xiaomei will find two. But then it goes back the other way. And Yami left to clutch. Can't do it against the dual Berettas. At least Atox plant the bomb. I okay. Yeah. Uh, a few That's problems a with that. Uh, from Atox POV. Did they just not have any Utah? No, it was full armor. Yeah, so I feel like if you're going A, you need a smoke. <laughs> just You just need one. Put that on CT, and then you can play a post plant. You can actually move somewhere off the site. They were just there. Like, they didn't... I know they're planning to bomb and everything. 
and I know that CT's got there quickly. But there's just no scaling, you know, while the play is no. planting. Like, no one went to fight Temple. No one peeked into CT. No one went to A main. They just all stood in on site, in the open, and died. They will come to us. They did. And they destroyed you. Forced by back with that bomb plant. This time, Lucy, they've got utility. I like that. You know... It's a very low bar to set, to I'm be a big honest. fan of utility. Except for my teammates just hold on to it or pull it out when they're in a gunfight. Um, but outside of that, utility's great. Ooh. Okay. Opening kill for Aatox. Well, catches one. Oh, the boost on A. So that's pretty nice. Now we're just, we're just gonna see an execute. Straight into the site, utility hitting. Counter smoke drop to Yami's job a little bit harder. No, they are gonna scale. He's keeping Ruin and Baby on his toes, and the Tech 9 up in the face gets one to BZ8. They're gonna push through this, but they all fall. And suddenly, despite winning the pistol round, Tanja May has an M4 and it hits the floor. Flawless. Flawless from Atox. And the difficulty you've got there for Cat Evil is that you've got players just running through smokes again with no utility. And they did this against Tai Lu. And they expect different results. I don't get it. I really don't. A, a lot of mistakes just sort of being made. You cooled on it. They won pistol, then they lost the follow-up. So this force fight. In fact, there's no rifles. It's just pistols and they stack A. All Aatox need to do is avoid walking into the stack, which... Yeah, forcing a stack is wild. I, like... I mean... Okay, it's, I guess the idea is if they don't go there, you've got to buy into the next round anyway. Yeah, and I don't hope, mind it. You heard that BZA can just delay uh, long enough, so... And just puff his chest up a bit so that you do walk into the stack. So it's not the, it's not the worst, actually. thing is with the with this mid utility donut red smoke that actually just negates cat evil for going and looking for info in the middle of the map which is probably the most common reaction considering the stack that they're in yami is he ready oh of course he is just about gets that adjustment and doesn't actually take much damage off the back of it so he'll just fight now them going for this is gonna say is ill-advised that they shouldn't be if Yami hunts, and to be fair, if Kabul hunts and they claim sort of all of these weapons, like I feel like this these peaks are really unnecessary. They might be find out they might be found out here. Like they might just fall instantly. Mick having a look. Doesn't go far into A main. Okay, they keep free. Not the worst, but not the best. Yeah, not so bad. Not so bad. Still not a great deal to work with. Deagle was dropped over. So Tan Shaman is going to just not have a... He's going to use USP and armor. That's interesting. And a decoy? What is this guy doing? Why have you got a decoy? <laughs> Why did he give his pistol over? I guess, okay, so it's... What? So it's solo as well. I don't know. But they are pushing A main. Oh! It's an overwhelmed. How on earth has he got free? I guess he is helped out by a team kill, but it felt like it would have been his anyway. Tan Chao Mei. Armor USP. Yeah, good luck, mate. You're no Azuwu. <laughs> Alright, yeah, only losing one, that's fine. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. Atox is just going to run over them on this T side. Yeah. This round's the last chance for Cat Evil. If they get this round, there's something to be said. And way back into it, they lose this. 
It's over. I mean, you still got three players that are using the Galil. They bought in round two of this half that they've not lost yet. That's the danger. They've got so much money as well. Like this, this is going to be really difficult to sort of build in on nades. Pour out in middle, do subsequent damage to both Splashkit and Tan Zhao Mei. And it's just going to be another execute. This is brilliant. This is all Atox just should be doing. Because again, just Cat Evil got no information anywhere on this map. Beak will drop a smoke. Molly will come forward. At least he's got the donut rotate. Are they going to go through this? Like they'll blow it open and then go. They're forcing their way in. Good flashbang. Beak doesn't know what's going on. Able to get the trade. In fact, a double lap. So between the two of them, they get some kills. Well, it's all one player, but you know. Set up by the bait. Three on three. Bomb not yet planted. Had to be recovered. And smoke's going to fade on CT, so this is slightly problematic. With no one in Donut on the, uh, on the CT side, they know that this is safe. In fact, the whole team needs to approach from CT and Temple. Not a kid on these players. Might be one on the site. Kval has a really nice angle, and he's going to find a kill. Can't convert the second. But all this is delaying. For this flank, smoke onto the farm. He's gonna tap it and stick it. No, just a tap. Mix starts to speed up. He's forced to make moves, and now he can stick the bomb. Yami, is he aware that this is being diffused? This no. is just gonna be diffused right in front of him. A full 10 second. Smoke on the bomb causes so much disorientation. Mick obviously doesn't know anything. Because he's just going on this really late flank. Yami's just gone, well, they smoked the bomb. They're sticking it. So then he has to move. He has to accelerate. And I think he fluffs his lines on the player when he comes around the corner in CT as well, which doesn't help things. So Cat Evil will steal that one away. After some great trades on site. Let's put them into a free on free. And again, it really felt like uh, just sort of in that after plant, Atox were really static. Didn't really do too much off the back of it. Flash playing towards mid. Tan Jaume needs to be careful. Not many of these players for Cat Evil have utility anymore. I said that was the round that they needed to win. They did it. First step. This one's harder though. A lot harder with what they're working with. Splash is locking down the position that all players converge on. So they really want to take this red room control. Splash is in big trouble. Oh, how does he get a kill there? That's ridiculous. This is weird now. You've got the good bomb at, and three push. T's in spawn. This is nice, though. This is very much sort of what Cat Evil did to Tai Lu. Remember that last round of regulation where they were able to close, where they had that double A main set up? One player could potentially swing, like Biuk, and then you're letting Tan Xiao Mei kind of come in late. Issue is, yeah, that player's been spotted instantly. And this is different because Atox never went in A main. So you imagine there might be a second one here. CT kills collected nearly instantaneously. And yeah, Ronin Baby's out of there. Tan Zhao Mei can't even play for a ninja. So he'll get out of dodge too. This will be 11. That molly into A main is so disruptive. Very well played by Atox. It was an interesting approach to the round in terms of going through red to CT. But they orchestrate it really well and know that that would mean from the presence they've come from, they've caught a player in Red Room, that main is where the CT will most likely go. 11-7, and that's a rough one to lose for Cat Evil. Even better. Did falter on it earlier today um, against Rear Atom. It was only a 13-11 loss, so very close affair. Maybe there's some chances, but you imagine coming off the back of that loss they didn't expect, going into their favored map against a team that is certainly uh, not uh, fragging back as much as they are. It's going to be tough for Gat Evil. Can Atox do it in two? Let's find out. 
Do we get the luxury of starting CT? Running, baby. We good? Okay, we are. Deciding just where to go. Maybe a... A moment hesitation from both parties, but damage has been done. So round will commence. Annihilation overwhelmed by Splash Cat. Okay. Make some moves. I think was just chilling, seeing if there was any aggression. It wasn't. Now he's going to be the one that puts pressure on. And you're going to rely on what Cabal can get. He's hanging out, looking for some sort of timing. Is he tucked into the corner? Is he spamming the inspect? Is that what that little click click I keep hearing is? I think so. I'm not sure. Contact taken now. I like that Biyuku is just pushing this. Goes into Splashka. <laughs> no idea what this noise is. We no, it's definitely it. the dualies banging against each other. Oh, yeah, you're you right. The inspect. Oh. oh! Nice shot. Five on two, uh, and they're being sort of trapped in here. This is done. Like, th this is over unless Dobu can make a one on four work. I don't think he's going to get to the A bomb site in time. Yeah, Tan Jarmay is already in library. If he wins this fight or is able to cross, oh, that could be a plant. That's already a victory from the position they're in. Further damage possible. Info on two. Oh, maybe even all three. Oh my god, how does he get a kill? Oh, almost a second. Surely not. The one on four can't get it done. Overwhelmed. Splash you with a 3k. Kadeva will take the pistol, but almost gets out of hand. Ooh. Sigh of relief. Four cat evil because they do convert the pistol when they were winning in, in a four on one. Oh dear, that could have been a disaster. Fortunately, it wasn't, but Atox are going to force immediately, and we know how effective this Galil force by was last time we saw it on Ancient. They overwhelmed Cat Evil to the point where they killed everyone, and they didn't lose a single player. Two smokes. One's been thrown already. Just to oh that he straight in the face but army puts bullets into that of splash cut easy swings and a hit onto two bomb drop forward how is he still alive he even gets away with it now he's gonna scale quickly and they're all just trying to force fights and they're losing them all cabal it's gonna creep out and be spotted a massive round from bza but that feels like atox kind of Stumbling into that. Yeah, that was that was Atox thinking. We know how this goes. We lose the pistol. We rebuy into it, uh, and we're just going to take these fights. And it didn't work whatsoever. Massive round out of BZA. And now Atox, uh, they've got to be on pistols only. This CT side has already got off to a, a really good start. Trying to set up the tech nine, doesn't work. Busy A farming with the Galil. Ow. Team nade, but shouldn't matter. Running baby cleans up. Atox can now invest, uh, and this is where we need to see just uh, a bit more of their default. We need to see them actually with rifles out, playing a bit more disciplined. Yeah. Started well as a force, but where it went after that wasn't good. So let's I see a little bit more normal Counter Strike coming out. They might be able to punish Cat Evil if they go for some of these aggressive peaks, which they have been. Cat Evil might all bring in a little bit now they. I know they're up against the AKs. Go for an initial little flash blade to take a look and oh, he almost gets an opportunity. Yep, 
trying to find the time on this player. He's the one punished, so an opening kill for Atox. Goes back the other way, though. Utility forces them into the fight. Tan Xiao Mei. Is able to find that double. So now reset into top bracket. Flash key. Whoa, just not ready. Whatsoever. Suddenly, you're in a point where it's a three on three. Cabal overwhelms with good utility. And Atox are in a position where they're going to overrun the site. If you're Ronin Baby and Tanjiao Mei. Even though you're free zero up, you, I guess you've got money to give this a look in. But if you don't find anything in the next five seconds, you're at a point where you got to save it. you just got to reset. you got to completely leave your, your weapons. I think now is the time you, you probably call it off. Oh, because otherwise that happens. Tan Xiao Mei will fall. Rony Baby only brings one rifle forward into the round. Atox, they're able to convert. Here we go. On the board, R8. Terrorists win. Something saved. Ronan Baby. But money's still pretty good after the 3 0 start, so it's good. On the reinvest. Doesn't get easier for Atox, but finally see those signs of life of why Inferno is their home. Make forwards. Oh, but it's Dobu through the smoke that finds the opener and the second. That is ridiculous out of Dobu. And then Mick scaling means that Ronin Baby is next to fall. It's a quick one out of Atox. It's a, it's a bit lucky, to be fair. But it's Dobu spam that gets the double entry. And now for Boyak and BZA. They've got to try and hold on to their rifles. Can't do it in the first instance. Yami strikes and then Kabul steps in as the other apartments lurk. Five stay alive for Atox as they overwhelm Banana in dominant fashion. Even with BZA just having a, a little bit more money in the bank, same with Ronan Baby, the rest of the team can't really buy. So you're at a point where it has to be Deagles and Atox can be in striking distance of equalizing. I'll swap that up. No, Try and delay with that one smoke. Ronin Baby has one over at B. You're just kind of hoping they'll walk into a stack. We, we saw them do this on Ancients. Same principle. Okay. Deagle gets one. Dolt immediately. But BZA able to slide in. Don't be spotted with the bomb. To try and disengage. Oh, that could have been real bad. But he's able to adjust for two, so it's actually not bad at all. Okay, fine. Recovered again. Another Dobu round. Another multi-kill in which he finds a success story. Ronin Baby could be a pain. But they're going to break open the smoke. And now he's known and overwhelmed. And who else but Dobu makes the round go from potentially risky to riskless. And Tan Mei isn't taking any chances. We'll bring the AK forward and save it into the next round, especially because he doesn't have any armor. Yeah, something to be taken over for Atox keeping three alive against the Deagles is ideal. Decisive after losing those two players in Boiler, they're like, all right, time to leave. Let's just go into B. Annihilation yet to get on the board. Not quite been needed thus far. Can we tie up three apiece? And we'll have the rebuy from Cat Evil. We might see orbs come out now. Yeah, BZA or Ronin Baby could drop one to Splash Ski. 
That's uh, kind of what you anticipate or expect. Slash key immediately buys M4, but doesn't throw it on the floor. So, okay. They can play with a bit of extra cash in their pockets then. They've got utility, which is the, the key thing. And I want to see Cable. They've been throwing utility to sort of fight for Banana. But they haven't really been reinforcing it. The only time they kind of get aggressive. And I say aggressive is because they are around about where Tan Zhao Mei and Ronin are at this moment. They never fight half wall. They never sort of push the issue. Maybe this could be the time for them to change something up. Banana fought for early, but it's going to leave the lurk. Regroup into apartments. Going for a pop. Annihilation can set up util and they're just going to move out. But the aggression on Banana, that's going to be the go signal. That's three players pushing Banana. Only two on the side. The incendiary gets dropped. They burst up. You're just overwhelmed. Perfect timing on that decision. After all the contact comes in Banana, they just go for it. Yeah, that, that's the thing. It's just instant. And the, the molly that gets dropped by one of those players on side, I think it's a BZA, just the in towards pit. It comes in and lands as they're already through. And suddenly you've got one player on your screen that is falling once you get cleared by the flashbang. One player that's on the balcony. You don't know where to aim. And suddenly, Atox completely take command in this first half. It was looking shaky for them. The, the T-side pistols are clearly a complication here for Cabal and the gang. But outside of that, they've looked pretty good once they've got all the rifles in play. Inferno, a map that... Really encourages saving. We're about to see Cat Evil maybe fall into a cycle of it. A saving three at least is pretty good. Now the ult. Tanja make and drop it. There it is. The splash kill will get his favoured weapon. I think particularly when you, you've you seen they're not rocking one on the T side at the moment, this is where you can really leverage that advantage. I feel like you need to bring one back, so the orb would be a good way to do it. And this time, Banana Control is fought for much more fiercely by Atox. They scale very quickly. Yeah, Tadra by playing anti flash. Running Baby drops the smoke, so obviously feeling the pressure. But here's where you need a reaction. Here's where we need Splash Key to be a little bit more brave. Maybe walk with Buick and go and clear top brackets, deem it clear. And then they have info that it has to be Banana. But because they're not doing anything, they're just remaining on site. And that means that these players are going to be overwhelmed. Tan Zhao Mei will find the first. Oh, and I tell you what, Ronin Baby with a quick double. Now you get your rotates. These anchor players have done enough. How has Ronin Baby got two there? That was both through the edge of the smoke. Five on two from being planted in the fountain where it can't be spammed out. Ooh, does get tickled. Annihilation with no kills needs five to bring this round through. And he's not going to be adding any to the tally today. So a successful side hold. In fact, it's the B players that get all five kills in the end. And fair enough. Look, a really nice hold by Tan Zhao Mei and Ronin Baby. But it still doesn't detract and take away from these errors. That I was sort of highlighting. Because imagine that goes the other way. As so often it has been in these gun rounds. If Atox find those opening kills. Even if they just trade out one for one. Suddenly you're in a position where it's a free on free. But Atox could be in coffins. They could have deep banana space. They could be in this crossfire on site. Like you don't know. And that's the biggest issue. And sure it works out for that round. But can that hole be so consistent? Can they find all five kills in every single gun round? I don't think so. Val going fast, Ronin Baby, burnt out. Val got the damage on, the flames follow up. So again, this fight for Banana, successful for Atox. Even if they lose one, taking one down is a fine outcome. It's going to keep the defenders split. So they are going to group up to be... The AWP solo on the site. As the smoke can be deployed if required, a boost start for Dobu. But no one's going to be peeking into this angle. So he's going to fall down. Cloud on the descent. 
peek into the orb. Mick found as well. Now the smoke is deployed. They're going to have to pop on. These two players. And the birds into the side smash. This misses the chance. Annihilation slides in. Gets on the scoreboard. And a very important frag. Two on three. The orb now in play in the post plant. This is a lot more doable. Yeah, uh, Annihilation, I like this angle here. Tan Xiao Mei, will it be a wide swing or will it be a jig? Well, Dobu also groups up to help out his teammate. And Annihilation just no scopes one. Now you're not probably ready for this rifle. Flash forward, you feel it's the Orpa, but then Dobu steps in for one more. And Biak is 8 HP and can't get involved in this fight. So Atox will survive. They'll get that fifth round. And it's all because of the reposition of Dobu walking over to be there for Annihilation to guarantee those trades and to get Atox over the line. But until that point, it was actually a little bit touch and go. I'm not sure, again, why Atox decide to keep walking into these sites without using their utility, without even flashing forward. At least just one flashbang would push Splashkey off the angle and then that doesn't look as dangerous as it, as it did. Yeah, yeah, I, they, they just contacted in and they're just making these rounds a lot harder for themselves, essentially. But hey, shout out to Annihilation. Gets his first two kills and it wins the round. The, the no scope is ridiculous. True. It works. Five on the T side. Oh, there we go. Ashka gets revenge. Well. Slides through the apartments. So one back quickly. And this is what Splashka needs to do. Just sort of take initiative and be bold. Maybe this is too bold. On the edge of the long smoke. Actually creeping further forward. Oh, what? I don't know about this one, Splashka. But it did work. Fair enough. He took the risk. It was a big one. But that will force Atox into B. And surely if you're cat evil, you know that this is probably going to be the case. You've just cleared boiler. You need to take space. You need a rotate. Ronin will now desperately call it over. And that smoke has smoked him off. No one's rotated. Oh, that smoke is not good news. He just about survives the bullets from Mick. And now they kind of scale. At least he stays alive, even if he loses the sight. So keeps the advantage there for cat evil. Bomb surely to be planted. A re-smoke on CT comes well-timed. Although, again, that's too shallow. Now the bomb goes down. Ronin Baby still standing a little bit lower. Kit on his back. Waiting for a peek from new boxes. Not coming. Dobu. Dobu. Doubles. Triples. And Tanja May can't even get involved. We'll eventually get that kill onto Dobu, but the damage looks to be done off the back of that triple. Yeah, Tan Xiao Mei has to disengage. I'm not even sure he'll be allowed to get out with his life. He's being held. Val's going to move forward, flash over the top, hits the shot. And Atox, when that bomb gets down, there's just no way Caddy will get in. No, uh, and they can't get in in the first instance because they're not rotating. I really like the way that Splashkey played that, right? He took the shot instantly in top brackets. He then takes that big risk, gets the kill on the boiler player. Surely you then send your players to search for info, whether that's in towards the end of apartments, whether that is to then re walk in towards short and sort of back up to flash key and you can take the space, but that didn't happen. And it wasn't until Atox were in the site that Cat Evil began their second rotate, or even their first. Fundamentals, I thought, would be exploited are definitely being laid bare for all to see here. Red and Baby with a wild MP9 spray, and it will be his teammate that bails him out. That's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> I almost thought Dobu was going to get that kill. Even though he had no HP because of the flashbang. Players on A. Flashbang forward. Yami finds success. Bjork's not in a position to trade. So an advantage for Atox. Again, Verona Baby is low on B, and that's where Atox has been finding all this success. So 
You wouldn't blame them heading back this way. Oh, we're in, we're so lucky to be alive. Smoke deployed. He's playing an angle where he's really in danger. Ooh. Now you just go. You know Ren Babe is the only one here. You just go. Can he find any? That's the big question. And they the road take is here. Now they go. They really respected that smoke. This angle's brilliant though. Mick needs to clear it. He's the wide swing it. Oh my gosh. Mick has just saved the life of Yami. And suddenly, Biak is on 5 HP and gets dealt with by the AWP. That was close. That really could have unfolded and spiraled out of control. And this was, what, 4-0? 3-0? And it's now turned into a 7-4 half for Aatox. Yeah, I can see how Rare Atom beat Aatox now. <laughs> Watching yes. the D side. Yeah. They can get away with it against Cat Evil, just about. we're working with and kill goes each way Tanjame th thinks he gets flashed back in but no success they did lose two in middle from aggression and now Mick's taking all of B you imagine he just walked in Cabal aware can't convert bomb can now again be planted on B where it's been planted 10 out of these 12 rounds Annihilation with the orb is loud on his approach to banana, so that'll be calmed. And Splashka thinks he has the timing. But it was being counted for. It was being covered. I don't hate the idea. But the outcome, not going to be feeling good. Annihilation is just running around. Fired up. You can't get past the scope. 8 4, Aatox, an easy T side.
After a 3-0 start for Cat Evil, it felt like maybe things were turning around. And then it was one round in the rest of that first half. Atox took over. The lack of fundamentals and information gained in the mid-round led to Cat Evil consistently being out of position. And Atox were just punishing on B basically every round. Yes. <laughs> they identified that is a weak point. <laughs> All right. P250. Does some work. Just around's been pretty decent for Cat Evil as far as things go in this series, and that's a great start. They're now moved to B. Yoke being a nuisance on A to keep these two players busy. But Mick lies in wait with dual barrettes. A flashbang in the hands of Dobu he needs to come at the right time. It's too late. It's too late. He's cleared. Splashka again, the P250 perfection. Now, with that flashbang thrown, you know another player lies in wait, and you heard a rotate. They don't need to commit, but with the smoke landing, they're just going to... Let me get one through the smoke. Dobu from backside gets a double. And despite the best efforts of Splashka, this is now a two-on-two, -two and certainly doable. Yeah, and he's At removed. Least. Sorry, go on. Oh. Yeah, I mean, a chance. But losing his teammate... Makes it a lot more difficult. Oh, the goosh makes it harder. And it will be converted by Cat Evil. But good effort from Dobu. Yeah, I can't believe he gets to uh, the back of the site there. It really feels like all of Splashka's is sort of hard work undone. Cat Evil. Th this is how dominant the gun rounds have looked, though, Lucy. It's both... I think they got all pistols apart from one on Ancient. I think they got three out of four so far in both of these maps. And then uh, immediately, Atox has still won like Ancient 13-7, for example. This is still 8-5 in their favor. Annihilation, that's bold. Go for a He's jumping, jumping. scout <laughs> shot. Like, come on, dude. I mean, to be fair, if you hit the exact apex of the jump, it is accurate. So, I don't know. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Imagine if it hit, though. How cool would that be? Oh, ho, ho. That's a cool shot. Uh-oh. And the triple layering on B. If they lose a player, they try and put pressure here. We'll be peeking into the shotgun. Cabal gets another. No. The four Not spy like kings. Not like this. There's no... Oh, no. I'm lost for words. This, this, it's going to be the normal smoke, so Mick will have a line. The Carter smoke put forward, so he just needs one and he's done his job. What about a second? What about a second while flying through the air? That's an uppercut. Cat Evil broken and bruised. Look at their money. Atox running away with it. This is exactly what happened on T side, right? On Ancient, where they lost the pistol and then they won the follow up. Annihilation is jump in with the with the scout in top brackets and Mick says, Haha, watch this. I'm just doing it myself. He's like gracefully flying through the air. Just I'd be mad. If that was me and I died like that in a game, I'd be very upset. And now Annihilation, oh he's got free reign on this scout. Might get overwhelmed. Because remember this is the force by is just pistols but the tech nines can run at range. Maybe he's getting into top brackets but Yami steps in. Already finds the first. Another swing, but not the kill. Nice deek shot. Ah, oh, but Cabal. Clean double. M4. Doing its job. Double digits, maybe. Ronan, baby. Nice shot. Ubu slips in, but smoked off. Mick. Gonna have to do it again. You feel like this position's normally good for one, but how quick is the adjustment of these pistols? Tech 9 going first around the corner. Oh, straight into mixed line of sight. He gets two. Both headshots, not even a shot on him. Double digits secured, and it has to be that eco for Cat Evil. Uh, and now, again, we're looking at the sort of the same situation where it is effectively one good buy. 
And then maybe goodbye for Cat Evil. Like, this is what we're speaking about. The fact that there's no bomb plants. The fact that they're not able to get onto a site. There's some really nice deagle shots thrown in. But when I'm talking about that as sort of the... Yay, that was a good moment in the round. It's kind of concerning. Need to sort of get a plant here to really help the economy. Yami is just swinging second mid continuously. And we'll profit once more. Okay, glocked. Uh, surely no further glocking. Oh no, there's further glocking. Just when you think the glocking has ended, uh, additional glocking occurs. <laughs> That's such a stupid way to phrase that. It's really funny. Oh no, the glocking might not be off the clock. There's only one more Glock in play, actually, because BZA is upgraded to a Deagle. <laughs> oh, the Dink with the Glock. We almost got additional blocking. Blocking denied. Dobu deny in. He's been unbelievable. He's come alive maybe sort of like round 10 in this game. And has just found multi-kill after multi-kill. Just keeping Atox just spiraling them further in this lead. Up to 17 kills. Now is Dobu. And we've got Tan Xiao Mei, who's a bit of an ancient specialist. Dobu. Inferno King right now. Smoke. Yeah, what's going on with it? That's Is a it tea smoke. No. No. Okay. Yeah. What? That was like in this, in the, in the roof somewhere, trickling down. It, it kind of almost worked to the tea side, but no boo happened. And he's already rotated. He's already ahead of all of this. Kabul and Dobu holding down long. Four players on A here for Atox. Where can you go if you can't evil? Back to B. Back into Mick. But he can get wind of this. And Kabul's already rotated. This is a great angle to get info. And potentially secure a kill. Drops the incendiary. But tends to fall back. Actually, he's hanging around. Why not? Ooh. Ooh. Maybe that's yeah. why not. <laughs> he actually cops a bit of damage on the retreat, but flashbang being set up. You've got two players lying in wait. Cabal up high. Mick sitting back and first contact for Cabal. He runs them down. Looking for the third. It's Mick, of course. And that will be series points secured for Atox. No plant again is the... Again, immediate danger we're sensing here for Cat Evil to the point where they now have to survive with Galil's, Tech 9, Limited Util. Atox have just been sublime. And also, do you know what? Tai Lu are dominating Rare Atom. They're going to take this 2 0, surely, in that upper bracket final game. Tai Lu are yeah, 11 see? 3 up. I thought they were the favorite. Yeah, they were. Let's go, Tai Lu. Opening kill for the cats. What if you tried to pronounce that as one word? Catable. <laughs> Something to consider. Mick gets one back on Banana, as he always does. Drops the smoke. And we'll fall back. Oh, okay, hold up. Mick has found one over at A. So now there is a way in, but Jerry will arrive. Fill that gap. Even Mix rotated. They're going to leave Cabal with the AWP at B. So no matter where you go, Mick lies in wait. This angle from Dobu. Oh, is it going to work? That's so disgusting. I've never seen that before. It's gross, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Some would even call it cringe. Flashbang forward. Mick now knows. Is there a counter flash here for him? Can that be oh. set up? No. Instead, he doesn't need it. Flashbang again. Oh, can't adjust. 
But I feel like he's done enough because are you ready for Dobu here? Yes, you are. Nice shot from Tan Xiao, mate. And Kabul will be saving this AWP, you imagine. Nah, he's going for it. All right. <laughs> he's absolutely going for it. Both Mick and Dobu got a little too eager for the kills. Especially Dobu swinging wide. I feel like that was unnecessary. Come on. Also a little too eager for kills. Let's not get silly. Come on. You've been playing so well up to this point. I can forgive Mick just because he didn't expect the third player to swing. And he was just chasing down the arch player. But I don't know. Dobu wide swinging out of mini pit is kind of crazy. When you know two along. Cabal going for the retake, even crazier. Important round, obviously. For Cat Evil, every single one of them is important. But this is a good opportunity because you are on that buy, those nades. They do so much damage at a mix isn't prepared for him but in the meantime watch Ronan baby gets that trade tan Xiao mei spam through the smoke the jump does so much damage <laughs> wow the audacity how is that so accurate ts2 baby dobu has made a big boy decision in how he's gonna hold banana And they flash played it, so they, they've not seen anyone in the Benizzle, so they're going to rotate a player back. Orbs here from Annihilation. Yami in Graveyard. Or oh, Pit, no Pit. Orb on the line. Let's take one and fall back. This is the shot. Drops in Sentry, so they're going to walk straight into it. And there he's able to collect a lot of damage being done to these players. Annihilation. Does go down, but is it enough? Dobu, no, not enough HP. Ooh. Ooh. So many instances where a jump has even aided in a lot of damage or kind of gives away a position. Not once, not twice, but three times in that round. Cat evil. Claws are out. I don't want to go down without a fight. Kabul will... Investor Mag 7. That's the only investment outside of a Deagle in this round here for Aatox. So it should be an 8. That's the Mag 7. That's the business. We're Mag 7 believers in this house. <laughs> We're also Mick believers. God. Better spin his name around because he is Kim. You're taking the mic. His shots are a bit of an annihilation. Oh, all right, that was yummy. That wasn't yummy. No, that's yummy. He's an apps. Uh oh, they're going into the max seven, Lucy. Oh, it's so over for Cat Evil. I can't believe it ends to a triple kill from Cabal's max seven, but that's where we find ourselves. On the edge of a devastating result. Cabal is primed and ready. Oh, they will not know what hit them. <gasps> no. Oh, it's even better. Ready. Oh, my lord. One, two, three. Oh, three. He did it. Holy moly, he did it. Rodan baby now. 1v4. USP, though. In fact, weaponry lacking. Dobry has an AK he picked up. They just need to do this together. Ronan Baby could ace clutch this. First is his. Brought down low. Looking for the second. He gets it. One more to be found. It's Mick on the other side. The ace clutch denied. And Atox off the back of the triple kill from Cabal's Mag 7 will take the series. Well, <laughs> you can't say we didn't call it. But that was <laughs> just that timing. The timing of him going and leaving Boiler, going up I the can't stairs. It. They didn't clear it. If they look right for even like a second, a second that play doesn't happen. <laughs>